It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing that we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church. And this Signs of the Last Days ministry is here watching with you and praying with you as we get ready now for that appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church. Thank you for being a part of this Last Days Church community, praying and giving to support this ministry. There is more prophetic news rapidly happening in the Middle East where Israel has now this week killed Ishmael Haniah the top political leader of Hamas while he was inside of Iran. And after Iran held emergency meetings, they are now saying that they will attack Israel forthwith. And one of the options Iran is saying is on the table is a simultaneous multi-front attack on Israel with all their Mideast allies that surround her, that they think this could overwhelm Israeli defenses and having a maximum effect on the nation state of Israel. The signs are continuing to increase that the prophetic Mideast war of the last days prophecies is nearing, and this will be a major step to the end time. Hania was the top political leader of Hamas, and Israel assassinated him inside of Iran as he was there this week for the inauguration of Iran's new president, Masoud Pazeshkin. The Iranian supreme leader, Ali Khamenei, had hosted Hania earlier in Tehran this week before the Iranian presidential inauguration. And then after having attended the inauguration, Hania and one of his bodyguards were killed in his Tehran guest house in that night. Initial early reports said that he was killed by an attack on the house. Then following reports said that he was killed by a missile that hit the house fired by Israel from outside of Iran. But now the latest reports have settled on saying that Israel's Mossad assassinated the Hamas political leader by detonating an explosive device in his bedroom at the Iranian government official guest residence in the capital of Tehran, where Israeli, Israeli Mossad operatives who were on Iranian soil after receiving intelligence that Hanaye was indeed in his room, they remotely detonated the bomb that had been planted in the room in advance. After Israeli intelligence had already learned which building and which exact room that Hania was staying in during his visit to Tehran. Mossad, the National Intelligence Agency of the State of Israel, managing to plant the explosive device in a high security facility inside the capital of Iran shows the deep penetration of Israeli intelligence services inside of Iran. Iran's Revolutionary Guard confirmed the death of Hania in Iran just hours after he attended the swearing-in ceremony for the country's new president and said they said that they were investigating his martyrdom. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu who is directly in charge of the Mossad, would have made the decision to assassinate Hania. And after the heinous October 7th attack on Israel by Hamas, Netanyahu said that Hamas leaders were dead men. But little did we know that Israel would do it in spectacular fashion in the heart of Iran. Hania, Hania, Hania was based in the Qatari capital of Doha and was the most senior political member of Hamas and the top leader of Hamas along with the terror group's leader inside of Gaza, Yahya Sinwar, who is now in hiding from Israel inside of the Hamas tunnels in Gaza. 
born in a Gaza refugee camp, Hania, spent time in Israeli detainment in the 1980s and 1990s before being deported to Lebanon. He was allowed to return to Gaza after the signing of the Palestinian-Israeli Oslo Accords. Hania became the close aide to the original spiritual founder of Hamas, Sheikh Ahmed Yassin, whom Israel killed in 2004. From there, Hania rose through the ranks of Hamas, taking on overall leadership of the group's political wing in 2017. After enriching himself through the years of aid that has been sent to Gaza, he left Gaza in 2019 for Qatar, where he ran Hamas's political affairs there in luxurious exile from Gaza. Hania is now one in a series of Hamas military and political officials who have been killed or believed to have died since the start of Israel's war on Hamas after the heinous Hamas massacre of Israelis on October 7th. Israel assassinating this top Hamas leader in the heart of Iran at the capital of Tehran was a humiliating security breach for a country eager to project strength but Iran has long been frustrated by its inability to prevent Israel from carrying out covert operations upon its uh, soil. This embarrassment was compounded by Hanaye's prominence, the presence of other allies at this prominent inauguration event and that he was attacked at what was supposedly to be a highly secure Revolutionary Guards guest house on a day of heightened security in the capital of Tehran. This situation infuriated the Mullah regime of Iran. And after the assassination, reports say that Iran held an emergency meeting of the Supreme National Security Council at the Supreme Leader's residence with the participation of the Iranian Quds Force commander, Ismail Ghani. Iran's Supreme Leader Khamenei said that Israel had provided the grounds for harsh punishment for itself and said that it was Tehran's duty to avenge the Hamas leader's death since it had occurred in their Iranian capital. So after the emergency meeting, Iran's supreme leader has now issued an order for Iran to strike Israel directly in retaliation for Israel's killing in Tehran of the leader of Hamas. It is unclear how and when or how forcefully Iran will attack Israel. But some reports say that they expect the attack to happen forthwith before the end of this week. It's reported that one option under consideration by Iran is to do a coordinated attack. A coordinated attack sponsored by Iran with other multiple fronts of its allied forces, including such as Lebanon, Yemen, Syria, and Iraq, where they think that a simultaneous multi-front attack on Israel by their Mideast proxy allies that surround her, they think that this could overwhelm Israeli defenses and have a maximum effect of harm on the nation state of Israel. And the Holy Bible prophecies, as Psalm 83, Isaiah, 17, Ezekiel 27, and Joel 3 foretell that Gaza of Hamas, which is biblical Philistia of last day's prophecy, will have a role in helping to bring all of the Arabs where Persia hangs her shield and helmet, bringing them together in a multi-front attack against Israel 
in the last days that will prepare the nations for war in the end time, signaling the world is nearing the end of this age and the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church. And this prophetic war of Psalm 83 and the other prophecies I mentioned, it will be a doorway through the path of events that leads into end time prophecy fulfillment. It is one of the next major prophetic events to happen. That must happen. And this event, it will burn up all of the Arab resistance, all of the Arab hatred to Israel, and it will prepare the way for the prophecies of the revelation of chapter six through 19. It will prepare the way. It will prepare the way for the Arabs to be removed as a barrier for Israel in the last days for the prophecies to be fulfilled. That must be done. And the signs indicate that it will happen soon. And then that will lay the groundwork and will position all of the players in the Middle East to be prepared for the Ezekiel Gog of Magog prophecy to be fulfilled. Because for Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39 to happen, the prophecy foretells to us that Israel must be living at peace in their land. They must be living in their houses without gates, without bars, without walls. They will be living openly, freely, securely, and safely. That is impossible to happen until the Arab resistance and hatred is removed. And the prophecies foretell that this mother of all Arab-Israeli wars that is soon to happen, that these events we're watching now is laying the groundwork, preparing the soil for it to come to fruition. Prophecies tell us that that will happen and then events will begin to unfold that begin to accelerate us toward the end time fulfillment of prophecies. We are at a critical time right now, a very dangerous time for the Middle East, where we are beginning to see events happen rapidly in the Middle East that are beginning to accelerate toward this great Arab-Israeli war prophecy to be fulfilled that will open the door for the Middle East to accelerate down the path toward the end time. It's time now to get ready for the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ. All of these events and conditions that I'm describing to you that are happening right now are warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies at the end of this age revealing that it is time to get ready for that appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church by being born again into the kingdom of God as Lord Jesus said that we must in John chapter 3 and verse 3 and verse 5. As his apostles authorized and sanctioned by Lord Jesus in Matthew chapter 16 verses 18 through 19 as how they describe to be born again of the water and the spirit in the acts of the apostles preaching in the Acts of the Apostles, chapters 2, 8, 10, and 19. And if you would like help finding someone in your area where you're located to biblically pray for you and baptize you, according to the Acts of the Preaching of Jesus and His Apostles actually in the Bible, please contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website in the footer. Our website is signsofthelastdays.org. And down at the very bottom of the page in the footer, you'll find our email address. Just email us with the name of your town, your state, and your zip code with your request, and we'll be glad to respond and help you like we have helped scores of others all across the United States and other nations. The prophecies are coming true. The perilous times are absolutely here. And the need is greater than ever before. 
if each of our members of this Last Days Church community would give your offering as the Lord leads you, no matter the amount, you will help ensure that the signs of biblical prophecy continue to be shared here on this ministry channel with the world. You can securely give your offering on our website, signsofthelastdays.org, on the giving page. And we thank you so much for being a part of the Signs of the Last Days ministry, declaring the soon appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ. We must be about the Master's business, and we must be focusing on seeking first the kingdom of God and seeing his mighty works done in the souls of people in these last days. Please be watching for our next videos and also for our Watch and Pray live stream broadcast as our Watch and Pray live stream on Sunday evening. That's Sunday evening. We have a prophetic word from the Lord to share with you of more signs of the last day's prophecies happening now. And please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel and click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos as we are sharing prophetic signs of the end time prophecies happening now in the world, showing that the time of this age is indeed very short.